It amazes me how dumb people can be on the internet. It truly is astonishing. But here we are yet again, just a few days after this tweet goes viral from this person named Tone Man. $20,000 to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear talking about Mark Kern. Um, all over Stellar Blade. Now we have this Twitch streamer who claims she's the biggest female Twitch streamer on the platform, that's what she claims. I've never heard of her. And Mark Kern tweets this out. Twitch streamer ups my bounty to $30,000 while reacting to Asmongold's video about Tone Man's death threat against me. This is getting out of hand. This should be a permanent suspension on Twitch and X. Also, FBI should be looking into this. Uh, I agree with you in theory, but the FBI is just as corrupt as, as uh, any other corrupt organization out there. But let's listen to the clip right here from the biggest female political Twitch streamer, according to her. Listen, I'll up the number, okay? 30K to anyone who will make this dipshit disappear and make Eve's breasts bigger. Okay, you have to do both. All right? Because then it's a win-win for me. I get more breast, and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. So if you think about it. Now, is it a joke? Yes, more than likely, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do I actually think that she wants that to happen? I mean, I don't know anything about her, so I'm trying to be as fair as I can, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because these platforms have terms of service, and... If other people can't get away with it, then she should be able to get away with it. And when you start putting these jokes out there like that, you're going to have people that will take that shit seriously. And that's just the, the unfortunate reality of the situation. And, you know, if some guy on a MAGA hat was to say that on Twitch, man, they would kick his doors down. They would investigate his family. They would investigate every person he follows on social media. They would dig through every single interaction he's ever had. They would freeze his bank accounts. That's what would happen. But what's going to happen to her? That's the interesting dynamic. But Asmund Gold has also weighed in, and I love how he's playing this. Here we go. And anyway, should put out a bounty on Asmund Live. What is this? Oh, I saw this. Uh, somebody linked this to me, obviously. Uh, we'll watch this. Here we go. Listen, I'll up the number, okay? 30K to anyone who will make this dipshit disappear and make Eve's breasts bigger. Okay? You have to do both. All right? Because then it's a win-win for me. What a retard. I get more breast, <laughs> and I don't have to see that moron on my timeline anymore. Oh, my God. So if you think about it. <clears throat> well, she's so aggressive. Well, it's simple. So how do you deal with a situation like this? It's really easy. Uh, I contacted Twitch about it earlier. I sent them the clip, and we'll see what happens. And, you know, maybe after that, I, I might put in a police report. I'm going to just wait and see how things play out. Th this is unhinged. It it's completely unhinged. It's totally uncalled for. Yeah, this is like a felony. What is this? She's got me on the screen and she's saying that. Yeah, so um, I, I did see this. I thought it was quite ridiculous. It's actually a kind of a surprise. She made a clip saying the cops would laugh at the clip and not take it seriously. Lamau. Well, uh, maybe that's the case. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. What was that last part? She made a clip. She made a clip saying that cops would laugh at the clip and not take it seriously. I would like to see that clip if that's the case. Because she has gone protected on Twitter. She has gone protected over on Twitter. Oh, man, those the priests allowed us have the most to hide. So, again, um, this is nonsense, and these people are completely out of their minds. I uh, Let's see, she's got an alt account, and that one is locked as well. <laughs> So she's got all of her accounts locked, so she's hiding right now. Um, and that's the classic case scenario. So you can't sit here and say, like, well, you know, Jeremy, you talk about Call of Duty lobbies and Modern Warfare lobbies. That is not the same thing at all. And we are living in a time where everybody pretends to be fake offended over shit, and you can't say almost, you can't say anything controversial on these platforms, especially something like Twitch. So she cannot get away with that because no one else would be able to get away with this. This is about 
evening the playing field uh, in terms of everything. And just in general, you can't threaten people. You just can't do it. Even if you're playing around like that, you can't do that. And you have to be an idiot to think that you can get away with that even in a playful uh, manner on the internet, on Twitch. You can't do that. I hope that she gets in massive trouble for this. Um, And, you know, this is simply it. Fuck around and find out. And hopefully that's what's going to happen with her. Um, I do like the way that Asmongold is uh, playing into it. And I'd like the way that Grums is handling it. Call her out. Hold her accountable. And we'll see what happens. I know nothing about this chick. I know nothing about her. I don't know her opinions on shit. I don't know who she is. But it's clear to me that... When she's claiming she's the largest largest female political Twitch streamer, I would be willing to bet a lot of money that she is not um, a Trump supporter. I would be willing to bet a lot of money that if you're advertising yourself as that on Twitch, then you probably have a certain ideology that you are running with. But uh, I guess time will tell. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.